Anarchist is a worker-owned, anti-capitalist, anti-colonial cafe, shop, and community space. A place devoted to radical leftist politics, revolution, ending capitalism. Two hours later. Boom! Take that, coffee brand, coffee company. Fuck you, Jeremy from The Quartering, and your delicious coffee and cocoa. Because it's all tainted with capitalism. You should be enjoying fresh anarchist piss masquerading around as coffee. You could go to this coffee shop over here in Toronto. It's proudly anti-capitalist. Oh, wait, no, you can't go there because... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Who's shocked by this? <laughs> Besides left hearts. Dumb asshole anti-capitalist. Oh, my God, I can't believe that this didn't work. We didn't just do, we, 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 did, we just didn't try hard enough. We, 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 should, we, we, we should have done socialism with sprinkles. That's not how anything works. Dumb idiots, New York Post. Anti-capitalist, pay what you can, cafe in Toronto closes after one year in business. The only thing remotely surprising about this entire situation is that these goofballs lasted a year. Oh... <sighs> A self-described anti-capitalist cafe and coffee shop in Canada named The Anarchist with pay-what-you-can business model will close at the end of the month just after a year in business. Was this set up by the dumb assholes selling Miller Lite and Bud Light? Is this coffee light? Is this... Is this... <laughs> dumb. My favorite part of this, because whenever you talk to any of these lib shits or these, uh, these, these stupid anti-capitalists, they always go, well, uh, you know, it's just because communism's never been tried before. No, communism's constantly being tried. And after it kills a couple hundred million people, the plebs wake up and start pitchforking these idiots. That's, that's kind of why. Or the places just continue in these poverties, like the uh, North Korea situation. Ain't no motherfucker trying to get into North Korea. <laughs> this is stupid. You ever seen a satellite image of Korea? It's fascinating at night. You got one, half of Korea all lit up, and then right up to the line, and then all pitch blackness except for one little speck of light, where Kim Jong-un, un, that dude is at. <laughs> Pyongyang, just like, that's the only place with light. The rest of the place, those motherfuckers are eating crickets, right? They're already on the WEF schedule of eating bugs. And so, no, none of this is ever going to work. It's not going to work. It's never meant to work. Communism is a weapon where they utilize dumb fucking idiots who are real naive to tear down from within a society. That's what communism is. That's why it appeals to the most intellectually deficit fettermans on this planet. We just can't try socialism with skateboards this time. You'll be eating them fucking skateboards, idiots. I like the, 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 the person who fucked all of this up, by the way, will not admit that this was a complete and utter disaster. A business that was destroyed, not by bullshit COVID mandates, but just a shitty economic model that doesn't work, will not take responsibility. Surprise, a lefty, most likely with neon hair and smelling like piss, will not take responsibility. So, despite its closure, shop owner Gabriel Sims Fewer, your little bit coffee shop Fewer, that's zinc lols, called his short lived business endeavor, quote, a huge success. That's not how successes work. Man, we're changing a lot of definitions lately. Change the definition of vaccine, herd immunity, success, <laughs> white, su white supremacy. You got all these black conservatives. Welcome to white supremacy, you black conservatives. And here's here's the new model of success. A business that's fucking broken. 13 months into its lifespan. 13 months. Holy shit. You guys, you guys love aborting stuff. Stop aborting babies at nine months. I'm fine with you aborting anti-capitalist coffee shops, though. That's hilarious. Imagine the smell of this fucking place. No, no, no. Ain't gonna smell like coffee. It's gonna smell like death. And now these people are rank monsters. It's gonna smell like gangrene. Bunch of confused individuals sipping on their anti-capitalist coffee, emanating a waff of not sweet cocoa beans, boys. No, 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 no. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis and gangrene 
from the other thing that we're <laughs> doing with these weirdos over there. I wonder how many bathrooms were in this stupid coffee shop. No, it doesn't matter because it's gone. So, anti-capitalist, pay what you can, cafe, in Toronto closes, surprising zero people. Zero people. This doesn't work. None of this ever works. They have these anti-capitalist cookie shops and cupcake shops and coffee shops. If you can't sell cupcakes with this fucking model, you're not going to implement it in our country. You're not going to take this stupid fucking model and implement it in Western civilization if you can't utilize it to sell fucking coffee dipshits. It doesn't work. It's not meant to work, and that's the point. Hi right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video support channel. If you want to be kept up to date with these dumb idiots finding out, hit that subscribe button and make way, because the salt must flow.